Hello, my amazing, wonderful, fabulous, super cool, perfect, amazing, beautiful, chill as can be friends. And thank you so much for joining me on my channel today. I'm so happy to have you here with me today. Today we're going to do some Mantis content. It's been a minute since we've done some Mantis content. And that's because I haven't really had too many Mantis. But right now I have a decent amount of Mantis nothing crazy and my collection has been a bit small lately just due to budgetary reasons uh financial reasons you know but um i have some mantis and i figured i would show them to you i thought now would be the perfect time to show you all of the mantis that i have because they're all very very little itty bitty babies and then what i can do is do an update video when they get bigger so we can kind of see them now when they're cute little babies and then show them to you when they're bigger down the line like maybe like six months from now i think that would be really cool so um want to show you some mantises um first question i know i'm going to be asked is where are they from they are from bugs in cyberspace bugs in cyberspace.com um or pantera pets and i think that is all the places i have these guys from i think they're almost all exclusively from bugs in cyberspace minus one species is from pantera pets but without any further ado, let's get going. Let's see some mantises, some manti, some mantuses, and let's go ahead and look at them. Like what else? Okay, first off, I just realized I just told you that they're all babies, but one of them is not a baby. So let me show that one to you first. And that is my cryptic mantis or Sibylla pretiosa. Now, this is actually a sub-adult of the species, and um, it they stay pretty similar looking to how this guy looks right now, minus they get these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful teal green wings. Like, they're amazing. But here is the Sibylla pretiosa, cryptic mantis. This is a sub-adult. Um, I don't know if you can see, but it has, like, its little wing buds in. So this one will soon become an adult. It's been tricky here because it's been freezing cold where it's it's normally not cold here. I live in a climate where it's normally really nice, but it's been cold. So my mantises are not molting. They are not growing. They are staying. <laughs> so yeah, mantis number one. I love this guy. Girl, I think it's a girl. She is so amazing. The species is known for being pretty jumpy, but this particular little dude, dudette, is not very jumpy. It's pretty chill and just awesome so yeah this is a great species um i've had a really good experience keeping this species and yeah sibylla pretiosa cryptic mantis so next up i have my hyrodula sorry this this latin name always gets me hyrodula majuscula 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 um that is the giant rain giant rainforest mantis let me show you. So here is that one, the giant rainforest mantis. Obviously not too giant yet, quite small. This species is really cool. They turn like a really nice green with like um, reddish kind of right here. They're just so beautiful and they get quite large. I love a good sizable mantis and this is definitely going to give me that. These are I've kept them before. They are amazing species to keep. They're chill. They get nice and big. So, you know, you have a nice sizable mantis. Not hard to keep, you know, a little more humid than some of my other ones, but we have no trouble. So, yes, this is the Hyrodula majuscula, majuscula, <laughs> um, giant rainforest mantis. Who shall we do next? I know. <clears throat> so, I have a couple of these. And this guy is itty bitty. Look at that little friend. That itty bitty, teeny weeny, little tiny friend. This is a spiny flower mantis, scientific name Pseudocreobata walbergii. Um, they are amazing. If you are new to my channel, you might not know this, but if you're not new to my channel, you know that I love spiny flower mantises. I think they are an amazing alternative to the ever popular orchid mantis because they look beautiful, colorful. They have that like white creamy color with like purples and greens. 
They are a flower mantis. They stay really small, so they're really easy to keep in small spaces. They are inquisitive and curious, and they're not jumpy like an orchid mantis. They're way more chill, way more relaxed, way more handleable than an orchid mantis. Orchid mantises tend to be really jumpy and um, flighty and nervous, whereas spinies are inquisitive and they're just hilarious. So um, if you don't have these, and they're also a lot less expensive than orchid mantis. So if you are a mantis keeper and you do not have the Pseudocreoboda, Walbergii, or the Spiny Flower Mantis, you best get on that because they are amazing. Look how cute, and he's like, he's looking at you. I hope you can see. He's like, hello world. These are amazing. Do not sleep on this species. Get yourself some of these. You will not regret it. Next up, the ever popular, loved, adored, ghosty with the mosty, the ghost mantis, the Philocrania paradoxa, the ghost mantis. Everyone knows about these. Everyone loves them. They're chill. You can keep them communally. They're inexpensive. They're amazing. Just, they're great. Like what, what can I say about ghost mantis that you haven't heard? They're amazing. So here is my little baby, little baby guy, looking cute as can be, looking little as ever. Ah, I just love them. These are amazing to handle. They are so good. They are just you, you need, you need them. You must have them. They're amazing. What else to say about them? They're amazing. They're great. They're one of the best, just the best. Ghost Mantis. Love them. Need them. I cannot barely live without them. When I don't have a Ghost Mantis in my life, things just feel off. Okay, so that was that little dude. Next up, we're gonna come in with one of my hands down all time favorite species of mantis. Oh, you're fast today. That is the giant Asian mantis, Hyrodula membranacea. I think I said that right, um, don't quote me. But these are just probably my favorite species to keep. They get really nice and sizable. They are wonderful to handle. They're that bright green classic mantis that you just need in your life. And they're just, they're not very jumpy. They're not very flighty. I've kept this species, the females, out on houseplants in my apartment and they do just fine. I, another species that I just can't live without, like if I don't have one of these in my life, I feel like something's missing because they are just amazing. They are so cool. I sometimes think I'm a makeup guru and I like to show you my mantises like one would show an eyeshadow. But um, they are just great. And they're so cute. And they just look at you like, hello. And they're just amazing. And I have a couple of these and they're just wonderful. I don't know what else to say. They're amazing. They're wonderful. <laughs> I keep saying that about everything. Um, but yes, I have a couple of these in my life right now. And I just can't wait to see them grow up. I love them. They're amazing. Ah, I just, they're so cute. We are on to our last little species of the day. That is the cat eye mantis. Now I have three of them here. And this is the Heterocheta orientalis. They are a stick mimic. They look like little sticks. They are so cool. They get huge, huge. They get ginormous. And I am so excited to see these guys grow up. They are, they look amazing. I had one way back when, but it mismolted, so I never got to see it reach maximum um, height, but these are just, I'm so excited to have them and see them grow up. These are the only ones that are from Pantera Pets. Everything else is from Bugs in Cyberspace, but these guys, I am just so excited to see them grow up. They're just so freaking adorable. They are just so cute as can be. Look at them being little sticks. I love how they hold their little arms, like, so cute. I just love them. They're amazing. They're wonderful. 
I just, I'm so excited to see them grow up. Ah, fruit flies are currently escaping from their enclosure. Um, I'm so excited to see these guys grow up. They are amazing. And I have five of those right now. That's like my most, my mantis that I have the most of. I have five of those. I have two spinies, two giant Asian, just one of the rainforest, one of the ghost. And I think that's everyone. Yeah, I think that is everyone. So I'm sorry it's not like an amazing, huge lot of animals. I am in the spot, the mindset in my animal keeping where I am in quality over quantity um, as opposed to having like a million animals. I'm kind of just focusing on having a few and just giving them really good care and really showcasing them and appreciating them and loving them and that's where I'm at in my animal keeping journey so I'm sorry if it was not the most entertaining video in the world but I'm really happy with my little family of mantises I love them I think they're amazing I can't wait to see them grow up I'm just loving them and I'm loving I love being a mantis mommy and it's amazing anyways thank you so much for watching my video I hope you enjoyed I hope you love my baby mantises and please let me know if you're looking forward to seeing the update video in a couple months where I show them grown bigger and it'll be more exciting for you hopefully don't forget to subscribe thank you so much for watching I hope you have an absolutely amazing wonderful fabulous day remember you're super cool I appreciate you and I think that's all I have for today so have an amazing day guys thank you Mwah!